Okay, hey besties, hey friends, today, hey, hey everyone, Mwah. what's up, what's going on, um, I have an hours long video, and this is one of two, by the way, of me fighting Rolana right now, New Game Plus, um, and I feel like, personally, a lot of the difficulty discourse definitely not all of it like people who had finished the dlc were leaving reviews about the difficulty because of the final boss um but i think for a lot of people rolana is where it really starts um and this is fun because remember dark souls 3 remember pontiff remember how pontiff very divisive boss that one because he was all crazy with it and Rolana's kind of like if you if you squint a little bit Rolana's kind of like Pontiff, like a little bit. But imagine if Pontiff was actually hard, and then there you go. Your life's over. It's it's ruined. So, I've spent a lot of time fighting Rolana. And I'm not perfect or anything, but... I feel like I've, I'm in a really high tier of knowledge on, like, a casual level. I'm not... I'm not speedrun strats or anything. In fact, if you look at my... These fights go on a long time. Because I'm... I, I have quite horrible damage. But I want to talk about all the attacks and kind of get into it. Um, and give some general tips and point out, like, the do's and don'ts with specific attacks. Is there, like, a rewind function on this? Okay, yeah. That was a little far, but... So, so I kind of want to go over each attack as they happen. So this opener... She does this a lot. Sometimes she opens with it. Sometimes it's like she'll do an attack and then go into this. But this is like her main bread and butter combo moment. Um, I recommend rolling to her right. In fact, pro tip number one. Right is usually the safer direction to roll. To your right, by the way. Um, for a lot of things, there's a lot of attacks that come out on that side. Um, and only a small handful of ones that come out to the left comparatively. Um, so if you're rolling into her, I recommend rolling right most of the time. In, in terms of, like, pure just reacting on instinct, not, like, responding to any specific attacks. Right is the safer direction. Anyway, but you can you can honestly roll that one kind of wherever, but there's follow-ups to it, like, um, the quick... Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is a complicated boss, okay? There's gonna be a lot of a lot of effort put into this. I want to I wanna look at this right now. So you see how she ended with a thrust? She has two versions of this, like, sidestep attack. One that's like a sweep and a thrust, and one that's like a sweep and a swing upward with the other hand. If she thrusts, she has specific follow-ups. Usually she'll do, like, the projectile. Yeah, so, well, the phase two projectile. So that upswing she did there jump back. First of all, in phase two, that's going to fire a projectile, so don't get into the habit of rolling backwards. Roll any other direction than that. And two, she creates distance almost always so she can do a magic attack. So, like, look here. I try to run in because I know she's going to do something like that. Um, I'm a little late, but the idea was I know she's, like, 90% of the time going to do a magic attack, so if I run in and hit her, I can roll whatever she does after the fact, if I'm quick enough. Um, but in the event that she does this opener sidestep thing and she swings up, I recommend backing up immediately. If you're really close to her, roll backwards. Um, and, like, straight backwards. Um, we'll probably see some of that. Sorry. VLC does that sometimes. So, yeah, I messed this up, but the idea was good. This attack is scary. Do I do it this first time? Nay. Um, but no, that attack is always set in stone. Um, in phase one and two, if she does... Actually, I don't know if she does it in phase two. But blah, 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 blah. Um, and I, I think I get it right later in this fight. This is my best attempt so far. I have not actually killed her. Yeah, there was the other one. Okay, this is important. So this is the other... Hold on. Gotta watch me epic fail. This is the other version. She does the upswing and then immediately follows up with that. And that's why you back up. That's why you back up and you don't go left. Because that follow-up is really quick. In fact, I think... 
So, so there's two main follow-ups she does. She either does that one, which ends in this cross slash, which in phase one is always a safe punish. In phase two, it is not. Um, or she does this, like, backward spin where she swings right and then thrusts. Um, basically, going left or right in response to the, the sidestep upward swing is dangerous, so I recommend always going backwards for that. So, if you see... Epic fell one more time. If you see your end like this, backwards. Backwards. See how I just walk backwards and it's fine? Um, pretty much the safest option you can do. And then, yeah. Phase one, that's a safe punish. This attack is interesting. Because... I'm hoping a lot of these end up showing up later in the fight. I'm pretty sure they do. Um, if you see this swing she's doing right now, she's always going to follow up with this, like, the second spinny swing. And, so that's an 100% guaranteed follow-up to that quick slash. She will always spin, and then that's the end. I think even in phase two, that's always the end. Um, so... And the swing is so upwards... The, the, the incline is so sharp that I... Let me, let me investigate here. I might have needed to roll that, but a lot of the time if you hang in tight and roll left in response to the first quick slash, you don't need to roll at all. And you can just start charging a heavy or something immediately into that. Um, I'll probably do that later in the fight. She has a lot of really fast openers like that, which, which by the way, that's the exact same thing as the sidestep spin move into upward swing. Like, she does the exact same upward swing there. A lot of her moves are really similar to each other, and you can kind of digest multiple moves of her moveset. See, that is exactly the same thing as what we saw earlier, where um, you want to just go backwards from it. It starts as an opener, so I recommend for situations like this, because she's so fast... A lot of the time, if she's about to enter neutral, I recommend kind of just pulling away, unless you want to take risks. Taking risks is totally fine, especially in phase one. I really recommend kind of keeping pressure on as much as you can. Even if you're not doing that much damage, make sure that stagger meter never drains out as much as you can. And if that means taking risks sometimes, if you get the stagger, you can heal immediately afterwards. Um, so there will be times where... That was the thrust. Yeah, so she does the magic thing, and then she's going to cast a spell. Because that's what she does. There we go. That's what I was trying to do at the start of the fight. Um, when she does... So when she does this, I know pretty much most of the time... I, th I think there's two follow-ups that she can do here. I don't remember exactly off the top of my head. But one of them is the swing up and jump back. Which is almost always followed up by like a setup spell like this so if it's this one if you get in fast enough you can hit and then roll it if it's the one where she puts them above her head you can hit and then run away and then kind of wait to see what she does on top of the other spell and if she does the pontiff sword swing beam shoot thing um exactly the same as the first spell we saw here you can get in a hit i would roll in and then get another hit that's a really good window actually Swing up. So yeah, here it comes. Notice how I'm at low health. Um, I don't know how to help with not panicking. Because I'm not quite there. Like, right now, I don't care that much. Death at this point in the fight is like, whatever. Because it's so early. Um, so I'm pretty comfortable. Just like, I'll heal if I get the stagger. So I'm playing a little bit greedy here. But I know if I get the stagger, I can heal then. And I don't really want to lose the momentum I have. That makes the fight a lot better if I do survive. And then if I don't survive, it's like, whatever. So, whatever your comfort zone is a lot of the time in situations like this, the, the only, the main thing is just don't panic. Do whatever you feel is comfortable. If you want to play a little bit more risky and hope for that stagger, um, or if you want to start playing safer and just find like a heavy attack opportunity and use that to heal, that's totally justified too. I do both um, at different points in the fight. Usually in phase two, if I'm getting a little stressed out, I just try to like slow down and 
use those heavy attack opportunities to heal instead. Um, because it's really easy to get caught in that, like, heal loop. But no, just wait for an opening. It's okay. At that point, it's better for you to live and keep going than for you to die trying to get that stagger that you were building up. At least that's how I feel a lot of the time. Whatever you whatever you want to feel, you know, there's not a right way to do that. Mentally, it's whatever you want to do. But here I push it. So yeah, see there again, she did the quick swing and then immediately spun around, did the other one. And that's, an, that's the end of a combo always. She will always end with that. This is another thing where if you see this move, um, either by itself or after other moves, that is isn't the end of a combo right there. If she does the, the really slow swing left, swing right. Um, or whatever, you know, whatever the directions are. See, I get the stagger. So after this, I think I heal. Oh, am I hubris? Because I have all this HP regen stuff on. I'm hubris. I'm actually crazy. So I run in. Yeah. So she did the up one, and I pull away. I just want to make sure those aren't going to screw me over. Always. I try to play it really safe when that spell comes out. So again, in phase one, if you see this um, up, up, and then cross slash down always punishable in phase two you have to be a bit more careful remember that this is a really common combo starter for her and she telegraphs it really clearly if you see the sword come up and she just holds it there she holds it there for like a second you always know that's going to be slash slash and you just roll into it just roll into it it's fine see how i roll right Right is the safer direction. I, I'm telling you, right is the safer direction almost always. See, she did the... Mm, I still rolled the second time. I'm, I'm a little scared. I feel like at this point I was kind of molding. Because this was like two plus... I think this was like two and a half hours of fighting Rolana. <laughs> Notice how my damage is atrocious, but I'm doing this to myself on purpose. So, so you know, it's fair. Safe to punish. See... There is a debate. I think, generally, if you want to play it safe, you don't want to punish the cross slash with a heavy attack. Um, Because I kind of greed it here. I think, ideally, you want to do your lightest, your quickest attack possible. And then kind of back up, because, yeah, she can go into this really quickly. But, 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 this move... These swings do not hit in front of her that well. If you're backing up, they can just miss you. So a pretty smart idea would either be to roll straight back or just kind of walk straight back. And, you know, in a lot of situations, if she does that move, I'm pretty confident you would get hit a lot less often. If you just got in the habit of, like, when she's returning to neutral just pull back a little bit just walk backwards and see if she does it and if she does you know respond because that's really hard to react to as it's happening held her sword up slash slash roll to the right spell move i know she's gonna do a spell so i know i can heal quick slashes Yeah, see, I was right in front of her, and it just missed. The second swing, I rolled the first one, and the second swing just missed, because I was right in front of her. So I think you can... If you have the gusto to do some shit with that, pop off. I believe in you. And then, yeah, just roll that. Safe punish window. Roll right. There we go. That is a really good heavy attack window, at least for a lighter weapon like this. Um, the four shields... If you're if you're doing guard counters and stuff, that might be a move you actually want to get hit by because that you know that's the end of a combo. It is scary in phase two. Remember that because there is a projectile that would come out um, as well. So maybe don't get into the habit. But if you're the kind of person where you can have different mindsets in phase one and phase two, um, I can to like a limited extent. But it messes me up sometimes, so I try to avoid stuff like that. Um, but if you have a big shield you can kind of just circle right around her for that whole... or circle to your left around this. If you want to see me doing stuff like this that I'm talking about with shields, um, 
DLC Clips Part 2 is my Rolana fight, and I was doing full Colossal Greatsword, um, Great Shield, like, I was, I was going in. So, like, this, you can kind of just hold your shield up and move to your left, and pretty good chance it whiffs, and you can get some form of damage in. Good stagger. I get an extra kick in there. Her, her stagger window's not that big, but you can probably, like, if you were rolling with a colossal weapon, you might be able to get a poke in there and then do it. Um, and while she's down is a great time to heal. Um, I could get crabs off pretty consistently. I don't know if that's on 100% kind of thing. This attack, yeah, just remember, she holds it up for just a little bit longer than you might expect. Ooh, wham. And then wham. You know, the, the second one definitely comes up faster, but wait for the sword to be coming down before you react to it. See there, I was still pretty in front of her, and the second one just whiffed. That's crazy. Right? Sword comes up, and then yeah. So so a good reason to, to just back up. A lot of this is also helpful for stamina recovery. Any time where you can dodge without actually rolling is really good, either for damage or stamina. Um, my stamina recovery is not great, so it's definitely something I had to keep in mind while kind of planning this stuff out. Right? Yeah, see, so if for that, that second swing, I rolled tighter left, then I would have been able to just charge a heavy and not worry about the follow-up double slash. Yeah, see, I was kind of grading there because I was at full health. That is always a combo ender. That, like, swing around the head lasso style swing always ends combos. I think even in phase two. If there's any contradiction to that, we'll, we'll look into it. She's going to cast a spell right now. That's a good one for going in, even if you're at range to get damage. Phase two, I'm going to greed for the stagger there, because I'm really confident I almost have it. Um, that's something that's really important to keep in mind. If you can stagger right before or right after entering phase two, I there is a clip in my in my part two where she's like weird about it and doesn't go into phase two right away, but like pretty much always she has this chain of events where it's like if she hasn't done the carry and grandeur yet she's gonna do that and then if she hasn't entered phase two yet she's gonna do that um and phase two almost always starts with her doing her mega move um so like right now i know she's gonna go into the mega move now a lot of the time if you're close to her like this she will do the fire one which is free to back out of but i think for this I don't know if it's because I started sprinting. I know some bosses react to your movements weird. Um, it might have been because I started sprinting. I wasn't looking at her, maybe. Something like that that caused her to do the magic instead of the fire. There's probably a reason for it, but there might not be. Um, but either way, this is like worst case scenario. This attack is really hard to avoid. Point blank like that. Um, later on, we'll see it at like mid-range but still a little too close i'll try to find a clip of me doing the main thing i want to show you with that attack but i think i don't get it perfectly at all in this fight but we'll see so we're in phase two um that attack the one where she puts those down if you're not so so in phase one every time we saw that attack it was me going in and then just rolling it if you're at a distance she'll always follow that version of that spell up well if, if you're at like mid-range she will very consistently go in for this jump. So what I do is I roll kind of early to the left for the swords, and then just right again. So I just go left kind of early, and then right, so I have time to roll again um, for the actual follow-up. Um, combo ender. It, it, that, the fire explosions literally don't matter. Don't let them freak you out. Just roll in like you normally would in phase one. What are you doing? Hold on. VLC. With the boys. So, there is one more thing about this, though. Um, so, it does the swords. Sends them. That, you see how that's the swing up? She doesn't do it that often. But she can treat this like that swing up, swing the other arm up, and then cross slash you. 
Um, it's pretty rare, so don't immediately attack her in response to this. Um, it's relatively safe, but sometimes she will keep going. Like here, you, you see how I waited and then kicked her? And just got a quick light attack in? That's because I know she can she can follow that up if she wanted to. Yeah, so don't let the fire explosions freak you out. All of this is the same. Just remember, all of this is the same. These two slashes, don't let the explosions freak you out. That's a safe window. Quick double slash. She put her arm up and do the double slash. Gonna do a spell. Yeah, see, this is a bad situation. I should have early rolled for the glint swords. The glint blades. Um, to get them off my case and then rolled again for the sword coming down. Um... I think that would have been the way to go, just so I got some distance on the glint blades, um, and they were just with me. But I didn't, so it's cool. This attack is pretty scary looking, but it's quite polite, actually. It, it's very nice to you, because it opens very intimidatingly. Like, see, I immediately roll, because I think she's going to do like the slash, spin slash. Um, but it gives you time to panic roll, and then, and then go, oh, okay, so it's this move. So it's one, two, one, two. So it's just... Roll, 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 roll. So it's three pretty close together rolls, and then wait on that fourth one. Just wait a little bit on that fourth one. I think you can punish that with the light attack. I don't know if you want to commit much harder than that. Double slash. Don't let the explosion freak you out. Gonna do a magic attack. Roll it. At close range, she doesn't do the follow-up. At, like, mid-range, she will do it. The one where she jumps at you and does the, the upward swing. That can combo longer. Don't forget. Um, and if you're really far away, she also won't continue with it. She'll just shoot the blades out. Very good. See, it's it's all like, I feel like there's new sound design. The blades are scarier, obviously. She's pretty aggressive. I think she gets more aggressive. She definitely like runs at me more if I try to be away from her. Um, but it is pretty close to phase one. You can react to pretty much everything the exact same way. So don't feel like everything's so much crazier now. It, it's easy to feel that way. But really, a lot of this you can respond to the exact same way. So, that double step, first of all, ends combos. When she when she thrusts with both swords forwards like that. Um, you can jump that. You can jump it. And if you jump it, it's one of her better punish windows. Because you can get the, the jumping attack on the way down. And I can usually squeeze in another light attack right after. Um... If you jump point blank in phase two, the, the explosions are all behind you, the flame ones. So if you know the double thrust is coming, um, which it is in a consistent um, like string of attacks, I think this it always follows the same moves. Yeah, so if she does this slow kind of general slash, like, it, you know, very basic... Um, she will always follow that up with a double thrust. There's another combo string that leads into that slash and then double poke. Um, I don't know if we'll see it here, but that's one of the harder ones to recognize. But if you know it's coming, you can just stand in front of her, jump the poke, um, jumping attack, and then regular attack uh, once you're on the ground. Um, and ag again, that's one of her better punishes, and in phase two it works just fine as well. Just as long as you're right in front of her. Um, or jumping towards her, I guess. Just don't be jumping backwards, because then the explosions get you. Anything else is fine. Always ends combos. Roll right. Spell. Alright. Just jump it. It's a really consistent timing. It's a really consistent timing. If you get hit by it, you're fucked. For the record. But... Just, just swag off. Beep, bop. Beep, bop. Bop. And if you're close enough, like I tried to do there, jumping heavy, pop off. Um, so I do recommend staying close to her for that. Beep, bop. Beep, bop. Bop. 
That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta remember. Please do it. So th this is like... Oh, it's so close. So, if you couldn't tell from that, you might... Hold on. So if you're far enough away, you can do the whole first four swings with a run left, run right, jump. I felt like I was too close, and I'm pretty confident I was too close. So I rolled the first two and then did the jump. But if you're far enough away, you can run the first two, run left under the diagonal curve of the first blade, then run right under that one's diagonal curve, um, jump over the third as it comes out, and then the fourth one comes out at the apex of your jump if you timed it right, and you'll drop under it. And then just run towards her and roll in on the final slash. It is the sickest thing in the world. It is the coolest shit you can do on this earth and the next one. And no one does it. I've watched so many people. And and so many people use this attack. This is my this is my rant, rant vent. So many people use this attack as like, oh, I, I don't like when bosses make you like spam roll. Or it's like, oh, it's like bullshit roll catching move. Nobody... Use your runs and your jumps. Elden Ring loves cool spacing attacks. You know the one on Morgat where he like spins around with his swords before flipping into the air and slamming them down? Doing the whole like run right to avoid the first swing and then run left around him as he does the flippy up and then and then slams down. This game loves shit like that. And Rolana, that move, that's one of them. At close range, you're cringe. It's over for you. Um, we saw that earlier. At mid to far range, pop off. Just just pop off for me, please. And it's not, like, super easy or anything. It's kind of hard. The timing's tricky, of course. But it's so cool. It's so cool. And you're not going to get roll caught. You might get jump caught or, like, running to the left caught. But that's okay. That's unique. That's a unique experience. So please do it. It's... It's bad ours. Should I be re-elaborating everything every time we see an attack? Hold on. Let's go into it. Roll right. Um, went backwards because she could have done that. Or the other move where she kind of spins around. Um, doesn't do the cross, so I go in for a kick. Roll in for the double slash. Roll right. Run in because she's going to do a spell. You can roll this whole thing, roll left and then roll right. Doesn't follow it up, so we kick, double slash, roll right. Doesn't have to roll, so I do attacks. So keep in mind, that is not a safe punish window. What I just punished right there, the, the cross slash down, in phase two, that is not safe. So I wasn't thinking fully right there. Um, but if it works out, it works out. Very good, very good. I heal here, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm definitely freaking out more, you can tell. Good, 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 good. And uses the stagger to get rid of those blades. Beautiful. Mwah. Still going well. Um, again, just don't freak out more than you're like obligated limit see so so the cross slash she can follow it up she always follows it up with this string and something i found out um is if i jump to her left and do a jumping attack the first like two swings of that completely whiffed me and then i can just roll afterwards if i feel like i need to stay safe um it's hard for me to remember to do that right now um but it's basically like if i see the cross slash in phase two i could just jump to her left and do a jumping heavy and then and then that's it. I could do that every single time. So it is still consistent. You can treat it like it's consistent, even though there's two outcomes now. Um, but yeah, just remember that you have to change it up in, in phase two. In fact, I think the smart thing to do would be every time you see the cross slash, the cross slash down, um, do a jumping heavy to her left in phase one even, just so it's like the same muscle memory no matter when you're doing it. And that's something I need to work on too. Man, this fight's so good. I was so close. I choked so hard. I think I unmute because I choked so hard. Alright. 
Beep, bomb, beep, bomb, bomb. I messed it up again. I'm literally crying. Roll left, roll right. Doesn't uh, continue, so I do it. That's sad. Hit to take. But after that is a really safe heal window, so it honestly really doesn't matter as long as you have flasks. That wasn't bad. Sorry, I'm busy complimenting myself right now. So yeah, remember you can jump these thrusts. It's just I was scared. Spell? Now she's gonna jump in. She might continue. She doesn't, so I punish. Beautiful. Here it comes. Watch me weep. Why did I go in for the attack anyway? My hubes. My actual I giant hubers. That was cool, right? Um, okay, so I think I'm gonna jump around a little bit and see if there's any other instances. Um, I mostly wanna focus on phase two, I think, of stuff I need to point out. So I think this is me getting the stagger into phase two. I probably palm blast, right? Oh no, I heal, because I'm, I'm a little wuss baby. A real Chad would have palm blasted there. That was good too. I didn't actually realize I did it more than the one time. At that like mid but not quite far enough distance. So that's the other that's the other variant she can do. Um coming out of the upswing where she spins around. I think it's dependent on like where exactly your position is compared to her. But if you just back up, you're fine. And it's also it ends in safe punishment though, it's pretty consistently. I think always. Thrust. And then, yeah, the two pokes. So that's a really consistent string there. So yeah, the, the twirl into the poke, into the, the general swing we were talking about, into the two pokes. That's a really consistent combo. It can either go general swing into two pokes, or do the really slow swing both swords left and swing both swords right. Both of which are punishable. Gonna cast a spell. There is, I'm pretty sure, one controllable instance where she doesn't cast spells when she does that hop back. And that's if you get too close too fast, she'll just go back into melee combos. Um, but that's something you can pretty easily control. And most of the time, even if I'm sprinting right at her, she doesn't even do it anyway, so it's like, whatever. But this is all just, like, information overload to hopefully give you some things to keep in mind if you're struggling. Because I've spent a lot of time fighting Rolana. That was really good. I'm cracked. Yeah, so I messed it up a little bit there, but don't, don't, again, just don't freak out. You know what to do. She does it two times. Do I get it this time? Yeah, it was about the same. If you get hit once, it's fine. Again, just don't panic. Even though I'm dead. But that's not a big deal. Who cares? Yeah, so in this instance, when she has those spells up there, you really want to just, like, see what she does and not get into a position where they can screw you over avoidably. Yeah, I think for that quick upswing, I need to really get into the habit of rolling straight backwards. I think that's the strat, because then the other swing will just miss you. And I think this is the main point I want to make through all of this, is that Rolana is a really fine-tuned boss that is designed for you to be really aware of your positioning, really aware of, like, 
what can happen at any time and knowing where to stand or what the good directions are to roll or just what to be ready for um, in terms of like consistent follow-ups and inconsistent ones. Because there's a lot of strings where like after you see a move come out, you know like the next three that are about to happen. And there's some situations where it's like you see something and there's two possibilities that can come out and then there's like two possibilities from there um, that end consistently. And it's just knowing, getting a general vibe for those strings and having, I think the easiest thing to do and a lot of what I've been trying to recommend is like having an answer where you don't have to necessarily remember every single thing that can happen at every single moment. It's like having one answer that responds to two or three different possibilities that could happen because of the move you just saw. Where it's like, oh, she just did the the side hop into forward thrust. There's like two things that can happen right now, but I have an answer that answers for both of them. So it's just if I see the side hop into thrust, I do the same thing every time. And then from there, it simplifies it into like, six responses that you need for one attack into like two so just having really consistent answers to really chaotic complex move sets um and then in phase two remember it's the same thing pretty much there's like the there's the twin moon attack that gets added um the glint blade spells get more added to them and some moves have flame explosions, which honestly, if you know what you're doing and you're dodging in good directions, should never hit you. I know they hit me several times right now. That's because I'm bad. Oh, and also, I really hope you're doing more damage than me. I did this to myself on purpose because I'm evil and I hate myself. So please be doing more damage than me. That's all I ask for you. How long has this been? 37 minutes of Rolana help. I hope this helps fellas and i hope i really just want this to like one wait hold on we need to see is there a good example of me dodging no i need to dodge the um the spell attack at like mid-range run away more yeah yeah okay now no, just don't mess it up sexy please do that shit because it's so much fun. It's so much fun, and you'll never complain about that attack ever again. Please do that shit. It's so fucking awesome. Just do it. Please. 